These past couple of years have been pretty rough for me. And further years back, a few years back, I should just say, that I wanted to do nothing more than to become a commissioned officer for the United States Marine Corps. I was not selected. I was not selected to becoming a United States Marine officer. Hell, I don't think I was even sent for selection. My med jacket was too too much. There's too much going on. Everything I went through and experienced pushing myself and also that injury that took place in 2017 put me in a position where I was no longer capable of becoming a commissioned officer for the Marine Corps. Normally, some people would just, actually, most people would say, too bad, man, move on. Do something else with your life. It didn't hit me that way. It hit me pretty deep. It hit me really deep, guys, because this was something I've, for years and years and years, have really wanted to achieve. Years. My dream was to be a lawyer growing up as a kid. And to do that in the military was like a bonus. So I'm like, yes, let's do that. And it started for me uh, with the associate's degree for criminology. So I have a better understanding of these criminals, right? The criminal minds and these behaviors that lead to these types of actions. And then at that point, it inspired me to go for psychology because I was like, man, I'm really dig digging this. And of course, to become a commissioned officer, it doesn't really matter so much, uh, you know, what your degree is. But it was just like, hey, if it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to have something very good to take with me. I'm not sure if you understand the process, but sometimes it takes a while for your paperwork to go through, to get seen by a doctor, to get that scheduled. There's a lot of back and forth, and not to mention sometimes the rotation of different recruiters. And when there's a long period of time, you have to submit a new packet, start that whole process over, which was quite annoying. And, uh, you know, it, your uh, background check and clearance, all of that takes place. It, it takes a while. And I've been at it, guys, for five years. Since 2015, I started that process with one recruiter who uh, really didn't get me started at all. He took my paper, my application, but never followed up with me, never did anything. And I didn't know much. I didn't know any better of this process. It's a different side, man. It's a different side of the than what it is enlisted and the enlisted side they look at you you got no no issues you're good all right you know waivers okay we need bodies that's it on the commission side you're treated a little a little differently you know for me i felt like i was squared away i was confident in my ability but given my med jacket and all the other options that they had available to them they're like it's too much work that you're practically damaged goods that was tough to swallow guys and the most clear straightforward thing he told me that recruiter the last one I worked with because there were several of them I had to work with but the last one that I got to work with was probably the only one who kind of went the distance but it wasn't because he wanted to right it was also because the captain and I spoke and I was very firm about my direction in life and what I wanted and why I feel like I'm keeping, I keep getting, uh, you know, screwed over. Like, you know, I, he heard me out, man. And I guess at that point, it's like, finally, someone heard me out. Now he's giving this guy, the recruiter, the order, if you will, like, hey, assist this guy and see how far we can go with him. And they gave me a chance. And that's all I wanted, man, is a chance because I know I can go the distance and I know I have every credibility and capability to uh, turn this dream into reality. My PFT was very high, uh, a little higher than even some of the younger uh, pulleys or the, the candidates. Uh, you know, I am 36 or was 36, now 37. At the time, I was amongst the older ones, but I had the experience. You know, my mentality was sharper. I was stronger and uh, more resilient. I was just better equipped for that lifestyle. But of course, my injuries, kind of kept that under the table type that feeling of any pain or suffering was more of under the table but then again that's also because as a marine we're trained to work through that so i was amongst this group i felt like i was capable of giving that back to the marine corps and helping out 
people who were like myself in crappy situations with poor leaders. I wanted to bring better leadership and help some, some of the younger Marines and get them squared away. Give back, man, because the Marine Corps was really good to me in certain aspects. I really wanted to give back and make a difference. And I've waited a long time for this opportunity. And it was like a door shut in my face, man. Now, I'm only referring and reflecting, I should say, reflecting on this now and sharing with all of you so you get my raw and uncensored thoughts and emotions. But at the time, for a whole year and a half, I was destroyed, man. And, you know, it, it was tough. And going back to my two reasons, purpose of this video, to bring relatability and also to, to bridge that, that gap of human interaction. You know, I want to be able to do that. And of course, the second reason was to keep you informed because some of you guys have been following me and wondering, hey, did I go into the military or did it work out? You know, just curious. So I do appreciate you for supporting me and hanging on this long and being there for me, you know, checking out my videos and whatnot, but it didn't work out. I am still pushing forward and always finding ways to make things work. And uh, it, was un it wasn't until recently that I had this opportunity to just let go. You know, several months now, it's like, just let go. It didn't happen. And it was hard to do because we're not talking about this as a means of something I've always wanted to do and then that's it. But no, it's it's there was something else going on there. It was more of like, man, I've been seeing and, and meditating and seeing everything in my mind that this was going to happen, manifesting it out to the universe. You know, I guess you could some people might say prayer, but I was just talking to the universe like, yo, we're going to make this happen. I'm going to wake up 0506, go for a run if I have to. Uh, my ankle has no cartilage already, so fuck it, you know, I'm going to keep pushing. And, you know, my PFT run time for my age was 2020, 2019 for three miles. I'm like, damn, that's the best I've ever done, even in active duty. But it goes to show that that will, that drive and determination was taking place and demonstrating to me that I am ready for this and I have everything it takes. And it didn't work out that way. Then you have the other extreme end of people who would say, you know, hey, maybe there is something better for you. And lately, I've been steering a little bit more in that direction. That's why I love doing what I do, working with people, making videos to inspire and motivate and helping others optimize their human performance and potential. And, uh, you know, again, it just goes back to reflecting on my experiences to find out in the root of things why it is I do what I do and that if you are in that same position where you're putting out maximum intentionality and effort and that if it doesn't go your way, I truly believe that perhaps you have gained something more about yourself, a new discovery of your capabilities and what it is that you have to offer on this planet. So I do res I relate with you and I hope that if this video resonates with you, to please do me a favor, engage with me. Comment below on those experiences if you had had them in the past. Uh, but if not, I hope that you're doing the very best that you can and keep continuing pushing forward. Don't be scared about whether or not you're gonna make it in whatever pursuits you're after. Go for it, man. Full intention and full effort, always, all right? Feel like you did what you had to do because I had to take that in. I had to take it all in. and. Uh, talk to some friends and process this that um, I really gave it my all man I really gave it my all every every single thing I gave to this everything it didn't work out it took a while a year and a half but now things are like looking a little bit more clearer I'm feeling a bit more focused on doing more of the work that I'm doing but I'm just letting you know like it takes time for some and I'm one of those people that it takes time because this is a deep, deep, deep rooted belief system and value system that I was working with to help channel my energies towards this pursuit. And I think some of you might have that too. And I hope that this video kind of lets you know in a sense that it's all right, man, if it don't work out. And if it does, congrats to you for giving in 
every single thing you got within you. So I really hope that this video was helpful and I truly appreciate you guys taking the time and staying even this long, hearing me out, but also connecting with me because it's not just my words that you're here for, it's the energy. So with that being said, train intentionally with maximum effort and be one with the iron. Thank you.